Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad Futsarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and also Sagittarius Rising. Weekly general tarot reading uh, January 24th up until January 30th. Uh, 2022 and uh, should you wish to skip the draw uh, for Sagittarius and uh, you want to move right away to the reading itself you can use the timestamp in the description down below other than that uh, should you enjoy the content here uh, of the channel and uh, you do wish to support us guys all you gotta do is just subscribe for the channel hit the notification bell leave a like and uh, that way you are not gonna miss any of our weekly uploads uh, not a live screen uh, live stream <laughs> so with that being said going for Sagittarius draw and the first card for you Sagittarius that is going to be the Hierophant can you see the card well yeah okay so the Hierophant uh, followed by the second card for Sagittarius uh, that is going to be uh, the ten of wands moving next uh, that will be the lovers Followed by the fourth card here for Sagittarius, we have the Ace of uh, Pentacles. And the final card for Sagittarius, uh, this is going to be the Page of uh, Swords. Okay, so these uh, five cards for uh, you guys. And I want to draw one more card for the Page of Swords, so I will be able to tell you a little bit more about this person here showing up for you. And that will be the King of uh, the King of Wands. All right, so uh, that's going to do it for the draw and let's jump right away into the reading. Uh, it's All right, guys, so you can see your spread on the screen here. And uh, for you, Sagittarius, uh, the week is uh, to be uh, the best word I can find for it is consistent, especially at the start of it, because afterwards, after the middle of the week, you are to jump into a more telegraphed um, routine. And we can see that in between these, uh, let me remove that thing here, in between these couple of cards here, because they can speak for a numerous things. Um, now that could be a law of developing uh, or it could be a major choice about your deeds that will allow you to progress with them uh, Further, we're going to talk about this a little bit further into the week uh, or into the reading, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, they, uh, through the whole process as well, a person is showing up that at least for the looks of it right here into the uh, into the spread, uh, it's a person who would wish to be a part of that uh, progress. But of course, this progress needs to have its uh, foundations, which is going to be the consistency that you are going to show up at the very start of the week here. And we are starting the week with the uh, Hierophant at that stage. And uh, the Hierophant in general, it's quite of a monotonous card. And what you can expect at the start of the week are a uh, quite a few things, but uh, the more important things in uh, in between quite a, in between these quite a few things is that uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, <clears throat> at the start of the week, you are to turn your attention toward the back, uh, the, the back seats or rather like uh, things that are... Um, obstructing you to uh, to proceed uh, forward so what I mean concerns problems and as well plight and uh, you are to deal with these uh, malevolences in a fairly fairly good fashion another thing which is very possible at the start of the week under the energy of the higher fund it is that you are to consult yourself with quite a professional individual uh, individual who were where you want to be and they are uh, how can i put it into words returning back from there so it's it's kind of like somebody who already experienced what you are striving to experience and uh in in that stage of the week it's uh depending on your situation and how you finding yourself sitting in life <clears throat> you are to uh, lay out of uh, uh, foundations for other quite of a we can't say pleasant but i would say steady 
experience when it comes to your uh, when it comes to your career and as well steady experience when it comes to love now I can tell you a little bit more about that because it's more clear when it comes to love that the steady experience goes through mutual reliability and as well through trust so needless to say at the start of the week you can expect to increase trust into your relationships not just only romantic and love relationships but as well friendships as well a, a family relationships also when it comes to career um the the hierophant sits like you uh you will do your work without complaining about it regardless if it is a good work or a bad work what i mean it's pleasant or unpleasant knowing that it, that is just how it needs to be knowing that this is how the hierarchy uh, the hierarchy kind of like dictates it but what you need to pay attention into in this card or with this card at the start of the week is the cancel that will somebody will try to give it to you through as a not through but as a benevolent support and laying on that cancel we are moving uh, towards the middle of the week here which you're reading which is uh, marked by uh, the ten of wands and that is the moment where you will have really a lot of things on your plates a lot of enterprises and as well uh, endeavors so you can expect many things to move at your uh, at your works as well many things to move into your romantic life and it will feel like you will have to attend to all of these things <clears throat> now under the energy of the ten of wands um you can kind of like exclude or not include yourself into some of the enterprises around you are not obliged to do so but into those you decide to include yourself into you have to make sure that you are to play the game up until its very end what i mean in a simple example is that if you do decide to get a job you are bound to that job up until the job is finished or failed there is no other choice here that is a uh, that is the characteristics of the ten of wands and that's why sometimes you can see it interpreted as a heavy burden because you may decide to involve yourself into something that is way out of your league so be very careful here what choice you are to make towards the uh, middle of the week whom you are going to interact with what kind of a project you are going to take what kind of a client you are going to approach etc etc but after that's a kind of like important moment kind of like a moment of a great uh, sense of urgency now, the middle of the week uh, manifests for you, Sagittarius, and we do have the Lover's card here, okay? And so with the Lover's card, things are starting to become more and more harmonious. And uh, if you had any uh, plights and problems here with the Hierophant and you couldn't find actually a solution at the start of the week to them, or you found solution, but you could not attend to that solution at the middle of the week you are going to start seeing that these problems and plights are starting to resolve themselves on their own accord uh, it's kind of like the thorns are untangled if we can if we have to figuratively uh how can i put it into words uh display the situation uh however with the lovers as the harmony comes about and uh you are to see that your uh personal life is harmonious at that stage and your career life is as well harmonious uh this card branches out when it comes to career and when it comes to love now obviously when it comes to love the card signifies quite of a um, exciting experiences in a sense of either flirting or somebody is going to show interest towards you and so on and so forth however under the um the energy of the lovers you got to be mindful because this card has nothing to do with emotions the card is a air element and air has nothing to do with emotions okay uh, it's about the mind what i mean so uh, you gotta be mindful here that the person who shows interest towards you or you both are showing interest to one another you are a very very different different characters and in a very often cases uh, people just don't have the same 
attitudes, all right? People don't have the same, doesn't share dreams, doesn't share goals, uh, doesn't share hobbies as well, vision, etc., etc. In fact, you may find yourself being completely the opposite of one another. And that is how the lovers really operate when it comes to love. It is that the differences that you do have, instead of making you drifting apart from one another, uh, they should actually make you special for one another so you can become one whole what you are the other person isn't and so on and so forth so be mindful of that you are not going to see somebody who understands you at that or rather like they understand you but they don't share your view and they don't share your passion either uh, when it comes to career at the middle of the week, you can expect that you will have to make some major major decisions about uh, the future of your career. And based on these decisions, the Ace of Pentacles is going to manifest afterwards. But what I'm going to say here is that there is no right or wrong choice uh, into on my courses. I am explaining the lovers as such. Imagine you are jobless, you are unemployed and you don't have a job. Uh, but you will have to, you are approached from two companies, right? And one of the companies are offering you really good conditions in terms of payment uh, and in terms of benefits. But the job you will have to do, it's not something you would like to do. The other company, though, is offering you a really exciting job, something you would love to see yourself waking up every day, going there, working it. But they are the conditions of payment and bonuses. It seems that you would barely meet ends. So which one you are to choose? There is no right or wrong here, and you will have to bear the consequences of the choice you have not made. Okay. So based on your choice, uh, the Ace of Pentacles manifests. And uh, Ace of Pentacles, just one sentence really, towards the end of the week you are to see that whatever goal you have bestowed upon yourself, it's now within grasp with the Ace of Pentacles. Because the Ace of Pentacles uh, speaks that the opportunity you took or you are about to take, it is that opportunity that it is needed for you to further your goal. And therefore you can consider that your relationships towards the end of the week are going to become harmonious, which is very very good because having it with the lovers where i said that should you happen to date at that stage and you see that the person it's very different from you you still will be able to see harmony in the in the relationship in between you two and that's kind of are predisposed for a very very long-term relationship that you could that you can have that you can uh, lay the foundations within this week and moreover as we do have the hierophant that speaks that on top of of that you are also going to grow uh, unconditional trust toward one another uh, and uh, you can also expect towards the end of the week truly lucrative business endeavors like business projects like clients for example you know or in generally quite lucrative job as well or a freelancer projects it will manifest in a different way for each one of you Sagittarius but one is certain that we each one of you towards the end of the week is going to feel content is going to feel uh, like they matter and is going to see that the future actually can be really really good should you have then should you have the necessary uh, attitude to put the work behind because we do have ten of ones and ten of ones always wants you to put the work behind there is no other way around it but uh you are finishing here the week as uh this person showing up which is the page of swords with uh, the king of wands and that person uh, kind of observed you or observed you I'm sorry for a period of time trying to decide what they are to make of what you do and who you are as well and now they are stepping up at the um, at the end of the week deciding that they want a part of uh, of your future that that one here that we uh, highlighted with the uh, lovers card and as well the ace of pentacles and uh, so what uh, can be the contribution of uh, the page of swords well with the having the 
king of wands as a catalyst it means that this person is very tenacious in a sense of that once they bite then don't they don't let go so you can count on them definitely and also that they are quite of a ambitious individual so once they define that their ambition is either you or what you do they are not going to abandon you in any way possible in fact it's going to be a cold day in hell rather than them uh, abandoning you so uh, the two ways that they can manifest is uh, through either they are giving you really brilliant ideas something that nobody could have thought of or they are manifesting for you as they offer you some kind of a help that you don't necessarily may need at that stage but you can make use of that help on later stages into your uh into your development so it's a valuable ally anyway you uh you just look at it so with that being said sagittarius this concludes your uh weekly general reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye